everybody thanks for clicking on the video uh today's video we are going to delve into uh, blake martinez he has been super exceptional at the middle inside linebacker middle linebacker position um so let, let's rewind a little bit i did some videos where in free agency that the number one linebacker that i wanted the giants to go after was Corey littleton and second was Blake Martinez, and that was just his production at um, at the tackles. He's led the league in tackles for two or three seasons now, and he's on pace right now to do that again. Um, the The Giants haven't had a good inside linebacker since Antonio Pierce. They, it's been kind of a like the running back by committee this year. It is a linebacker by committee. Either they were hurt, they would draft somebody who just didn't pan out. And Blake Martinez is, for the next three years, and you know, it could be more than that, um, is the answer at inside linebacker. Uh, let's look at, quickly, Corey Littleton's stats, because he is somebody who I wanted. And no interceptions, 22 combined tackles, 15 solo, and two tackles for loss with no sacks. Now let's look at Blake Martinez so far this year. Blake Martinez, no interceptions. He has two sacks. There was that big one in the 49er game against Nick Mullins um, where he overcommitted, but he made a good move and got the sack. Uh, 26 solo tackles, 43 combined, so 17 on the assist. He is on pace right now to be close to 200 tackles again this year. Um... And that is just, he should lead the league again in tackles. Um, five are tackle for loss, two QB hits, and he averages about 10 a game, it says. He's had more, the average right now through 10 games is, uh, four games is 10. Here is the main thing that I take out of that. Now, I'm going to read this right off the page, my cheat page. Um, I read this today. Blake Martinez is first in the NFL and PFF's stops metric with 23 that constitute as a failure for the offense. Um, he's an understated signing. There are so many people who said, oh yeah, you know, he, he tackles a lot, but look where he's tackling. That stat alone, 23 that constitute as a failure for the offense. That is huge. Um, Giants last year were torched on the ground. And as we all know, the, the defense is the bright spot aside from the 49er game this season. And Blake Martinez is finally the captain that we need on the defense. Um, I would say there's a lot of captains, leaders on the team uh, defense so far. Blake Martinez is definitely one of them. Logan Ryan is, I think, is huge. Um, uh, Leonard Williams, I would say, is another huge one. They're all playing together on the defense, and it showed. Um, the Giants right now are 14th in the league for defense, and I, I see nothing but improvement. It's going to be interesting to see what they do against the a high-powered offense for the Cowboys. Um Granted, they needed all those passing yards. Zeke had, not Zeke, I'm sorry. Dak has like 1,600 yards, 1,631. So it's going to be interesting to see if our defensive backs, who aren't the strongest, um, it's our weak point, I would say. Um, but if we get Jabril Peppers back this week, it's going to be huge. Um, I kind of think that they're going, the Cowboys, that is, they're going to kind of go try go Zeke heavy at the beginning. Um, and the defense just needs to hold with that. It's, it's as long as there's no big gaffes on the defense, like uh, Julian Love had, where Cooper Cup had that touchdown, um, everybody knows their assignment. We should, hopefully, if we can hold them to 21 or 24, that would be great. Um, but back to Blake Martinez. Um, I, I, I say that 
I think he's an underrated signing. I said it at the beginning when everybody was against him. Um, he's proved he has a high motor, a tackling machine, no interceptions, and that was why I kind of wanted Corey Littleton because he had a reputation of having a nose for the ball um, interception-wise. Um, but at the same time, Blake Martinez has a very high motor. He's always running everywhere on the field. Like he's, He seems to be at every tackle, um, except if it's you know yards down the field. So I think we, as a defense, we have a lot to look forward to. Obviously, the offense is a is a mess right now, and maybe, hopefully, um, we can get that turned around this game. If any game the Giants can turn an offensive round, around, it's this one with a lackluster uh, Cowboys defense. But I, I believe Van Der Esch might be coming back, so that could be a help. But still, Van Der Esch will help with the run. They're getting gassed um, deep. And we need to we need to throw more deep. It's like only three or four times that we've um, really connected down the field on deep passes. So uh, that's just a just what I think. I think Blake Martinez is fantastic. Um, the defense can um, is doing their part. Let's get the offense to do their part now. Uh, tell me what you uh, think below. Uh, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Oh, come on, weird. Have a nice night, everybody.